Hi and welcome back to another Best of Times Reborn update video. It's currently 5 to 6 a.m. on Saturday, January the 6th, 2023. We're going to have a look at that corner of um, Louis and Ernest Street. I'm your host, Brad. So let's have a have a look. I come through here yesterday and noticed that they had done a little extra to it. So you can see where they've taken the sign of the Indigenous artwork stuff down. Off the awning here, yeah, taking that down, and underneath they've taken the paneling and that off the um, off the awning. So it's um, all exposed, all the framework and all that now. So we'll go along and show that quickly. Yeah, the camera's struggling with the lighting. You can see out where the, where the sky is and that, but yeah, as you can see, well, yeah, we show as much detail as we can, like we always do. You can see the way it was. All that part was like this part here, with the, like the fibro plasterboard type stuff. Then it goes to this. So we'll go back quickly. Oh, not much, not too quickly. I'm going to show detail, but yeah, so this is what they've been doing. You can see that. Okay, the camera won't go down. I had to change settings by itself, but anyway. You can see where topic cartridges and printing used to be, where the air conditioners were, have been taken out, they've been removed. Of course, Tony's moved out to 180, 180 Street. People keep asking where he's moved to. And that, yeah, it's 180. You can see the like the ceiling's gone. Inside, it's just framework, just the um, trusses and all that. We'll show over the things in a minute. There's the barricades there, best we can. It's not the best lighting, but it's a boiling hot time of the year, so we've got to get what we can get while we can. But there you go. That's where the Art place used to be the indigenous art, and you can see they've taken the windows out of the like, some of the louvers out. So I don't think it's too far off getting demolished. Yeah, I don't think it'll be too far off. A little bit more of a look. A few cars around to give you weird looks. But yeah, so this is the one that was. Collins catering at the end. The end of the lifespan of this building. See where they put stuff. It's been taken down. You can see where the roof is and that. Wow. Pretty full on. Oh, and Tony had his business, Tony Lacey. See a couple of cast cartridges and printing. Yeah, it's hard to see in there with all the uh, reflections because the glass and all that's still there. But you can see where the um, you can see where the air conditioners have been taken out. Something. Oh, there's people coming, so I've got to be quiet for a bit so they don't get in the video. And this is where Bedrock used to be. Ceilings and that's still in there. Yeah. Pretty, um, pretty full on. Well, we might go down the side quickly while there's people here and come back. Show it down the side where the flats in that house used to be. Show all that. Where well, at least Red Market was. Right on the corner here. You can't really see in there from the reflections on the windows. It makes it hard. But we'll show down the side like we do. Like we always do down here. <coughs> Pardon me. Down here. See where they've taken stuff out from upstairs, the flats above, 
the old bedrock and that. Run along. Just keep an eye on those people. They're all giving me strange looks. But anyway, there's where the house used to be there. It looked in good condition, but the, the flats didn't look very nice. Didn't look looked after than that. Don't show us as much detail as possible. And then where the you know, upstairs and all that. See that over there? As much as we can show. We'll go across the road and have a look in a sec. This is the corner of Lily and Ernest Street. And as well, across from McDonald's, BP, Crown Hotel and all that. So just to give you an idea of where this is, I'd like to show the area. You can see the McDonald's car park there, BP service station. And all that, but we'll, we'll go back and we'll go back across. We'll go across near the VP and go and get a can of soda once we're finished. So I'll finish the video over there, like I often do. You can see the stairs and all that going up to the flats at the back. Wow, if anyone sees them starting to knock this down, like see them there with a wrecking ball or whatever that you're going to use. Um, please let me know in the comments. Or let me know on old and new NSFL photos on Facebook. Take some photos if you can, take some video. Post it up there. This is the Old Lee Street Market. The spot here. It's also Curtin Villa at one stage. It's been a few different places. The Asian supermarket was there. I think that was, yeah, the Asian supermarket was the last one in there. Before they started doing all this. There's an old job agency here. It moved out to the old high school at one stage, this one, because it had signs up. It's a designer life. Job agency. In the old bedrock here. Like I showed before the awning. Might be able to see it differently from a different angle. See it better. Hmm. The awning doesn't look that safe. Like it hangs down a bit lower than it did. It might fall down. There's the old Tropic Cartridge printing, the old Collins here, and the old Indigenous art place. Show that from the side where you can still see some of the paintwork of it, where it says stuff. It says Art Shop. There used to be like red, I think it was red and yellow signage here saying about the Indigenous stuff. Mm. On the front end, the side. So, it'd be nice if we could see in there better. And still see. Cause last time I went past, you could still see the artwork. There it is. Yeah, you can still see some of the artwork. But there used to be a lot more. Mm. I'm trying to get as much, much detail of what it was like. Like I was doing over at the Geraldton Bridge yesterday because they're supposed to be doing it up. Supposed to be doing a thorough cleaning, regular maintenance to it and everything. So we'll see if that happens. I'll try and get video during when they're doing it. So I think they're supposed to start tomorrow, the uh, 8th. Yeah, 6.05 a.m. Saturday the 6th. I think it's either tomorrow, Sunday or Monday, they're doing it. So. You can see in there with the old tropic cartridges and printing where they're doing the making the ceiling out and all that. Yep. My usual strange looks of people. That's fine. And if people are allowed to stop and ask nicely, if they ask nicely, it's all good. 
if they're real nasty. Oh, what are you doing? Hey, that sort of thing, then no. no. But if someone's nice and they're just genuinely asking what I'm doing and they're nice about it, I'm fine. So what we'll do, now we've shown all this as much as we can, we'll um, go across the road to the Crown and look across to show what it was like. We'll just quickly show down here that little bit while we can. To show what it was like, there used to be a bin down here and public t public chairs. That's long gone. Okay, well, this is to give you a bit of context to where this is. The Crown Hotel over here. Heyman's Electrical there. This is the Bruce Highway. Slash Ernest Street. The Crown Hotel. There's back where we just came from. Don't get as much detail. I might actually stand over here and get a bit of a time lapse, motion time lapse, since there's no one much around. Get a like a tw 20 minute time lapse. It takes a while, oh, look. Feels like forever the 20 minutes, but worth it. Yeah, they usually look pretty good. They do what I need it to do. So you can see where the bedrock used to be. Look at the signage there. And then we'll head across to the BP after I've done the, um, after I've recorded the time lapse. It's next door to Vinnie's, all this. And then you've got where the Bedrock Cafe is now. Where Pizza House used to be. A uh, fair few other places over the years. Bike shop. The builder had his office there at one stage. Okay, we'll be back after the time lapse. It was three hours, but it wasn't. Okay, I'll just show across. We'll go across the BP and have a look what it's like looking across. Well, no, we'll go the normal way we do go across to Heyman's and then across that way so you get a bit more of an idea what it looks like from different angles. Look at that rain clouds, sort of. There's a few around, but not as much as there was earlier. We're in a different location now. And more over that direction, the dark clouds. It looks darker in person. The camera's brightening it. It's your BP direction. Heyman's Electrical. This is Lily Street, L I L O Y. It's towards. And it's our food emporium. Well, central markets, central arcade, and all that down that way. It used to be called that. Now, and it's our food emporium at the time of recording. Might change again the name, who knows? And here's across where we've been doing the video. Let's zoom in a bit. It's only got two times zoom, but we'll do what we can. Oh. It's a little bit sick, that. Noise for the telling me I can go across after pressing the button. Oh, yeah, you see a bit of detail there towards Vinnie's, towards Coles, Harvey Norman, Grand Hotel, all that. Down that way. Maybe a strip market used to be. Where the houses and the flats were. If 
put into as much detail as we can, like we normally do. It does lose picture quality when you zoom in. So I'll zoom back out to show a bit more as well. Give you context of the area, there's your Crown Hotel. Down towards Woolworths direction, like I said, Lily Street and all that. This is Ernest Street, this highway. Hammond, BP, McDonald's, and all that. The usual. BP here. And McDonald's, there's your BP. McDonald's, Subway Store, Mindara. Just give you a bit of context of where all this is. Anyway, I'm gonna put this camera away. Go into the BP. Do my thing. Versatile to keep a memory alive for us and future generations to see. Check out old new Innisfil photos on Facebook. Check the links in the description. If you want to donate to the channel, there's a PayPal link. And that, and we'll catch you in the next one. Stay safe, stay cool, and see you.